This video is going to cover example 2.4.3, which is about the distance from a point to a plane part of section 2.4, the shortest distances and closest points. So we are given here a point A, which is 6 minus 10, 23, and the plane pi, x minus 4y plus 8z plus 13 equals 0, and we are asked to show, first of all, that a is not in pi. And so we remember that if a were to be in pi, it would need to satisfy the plane equation. So we are going to check a in the plane equation and show that it does not give 0. So if we plug in the x, y, and z of point a here, we are going to have 6 minus 4 times minus 10 plus 8 times 23 plus 13, uh, which is going to give us 6 plus 40 plus 160 uh, and 2484 plus 13. And if you add those all up, they will give you 243, which is non-zero. And so since A does not satisfy the uh, equation of the plane, we can say definitively that A is not in pi. The next question asks us to find the point Q in the plane that is closest to A. So we are going to apply the procedure that we outlined in the previous video. And that is, let me draw a sketch here and I will show you what we are going to do. So we have point A, which is not in the plane. We are looking to find the closest point, Q, which is in the plane. Uh, and we start out by picking a point, any point, P, in the plane. And so let's let Y and z be 0 in the plane equation. That's going to mean that x has to be minus 13, and that gives me the coordinates of our point p as minus 13, 0, 0. Then we will construct a vector from point p to point a. So vector p a will take the coordinates of a minus the coordinates of p, so 6 plus 13 is 19, minus 10, and 23 is our vector p a. Now, the dotted line between a and q is a perpendicular line, and so we are going to need to use a perpendicular direction, so we're going to look at the normal vector, the vector n, which is readable from the equation of the plane, 1 minus 4, and 8. If we draw that vector on top of point P, we can get the idea to project the vector PA onto the normal vector to give us this vector here in red, the projection of PA onto N. And then we will use that vector, we'll reverse its direction and use it to get from A to Q. So let's go and calculate the projection of PA onto N, which is PA dotted with N over the norm of N squared, all of that times vector N. So PA is here n is here, so we'll dot those together, and what, 19 uh, plus 40 plus 184, all over the norm of n squared, so 1 plus 16 plus 64 times vector n, 1 minus 4, 8, the top gives us 243 again uh, as it did in part A and 
the bottom is going to give us 81 times 1 minus 4, 8. That simplifies quite nicely to 3, and so our projection vector is the vector 3 minus 12, 24. We want the coordinates of Q, so we're going to find its position vector OQ by doing OA plus AQ. OA is well, it's the position vector of A. The vector AQ is the negative projection vector, so minus the projection of PA onto N. OA is 6 minus 10. 23 minus the vector we just calculated, 3 minus 12, 24, 6 minus 3 is 3, minus 10 plus 12 is 2, 23 minus 24 minus 1, therefore the point Q has coordinates 3, 2, and minus 1. Now next we are asked to find the distance, the minimum distance from the point to the plane. So we're asked to find this here, and we are asked to do it in two different ways. First, by finding the norm of the vector QA. Well, the vector QA is the projection vector. So the norm of the projection onto N of PA, that's the vector that we had calculated up here. I'm going to use this form of it just to simplify my calculation. So that's the norm of 3 times 1 minus 4, 8. The 3 I can bring outside of the norm in absolute value, but it's already positive, times the square root of 1 plus 16 plus 64. That is 3 times the root of 81. 3 times 9 is 27. So the distance from point A down to the plane is 27 units. And we're asked to confirm that by using the distance formula. So the distance formula, let's remember from the video where we derived it, that the distance from A to pi is uh, A x0 plus B y0 plus C z0 plus d in absolute value divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Now these values, these values are the values of a and pi, so let's copy those and bring them down so we can see them here. And so we are talking about here the x0, y0, z0 being the coordinates of A and the point A and the A, B, C, and D being well, the usual constants that we see, constants and coefficients that we see in the plane equation. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So a is 1, absolute value, x0 is 6, minus 4 times minus 10, plus 8 times 23. These numbers are going to feel familiar because we have calculated exactly this before in different circumstances. 1 plus 16 plus 64 which is going to give us the absolute value of 243 divided by the square root of 81, which is 243 divided by 9, which is going to give us, again, 27 units. It should be no surprise that we get the same answer using the distance formula, because actually the distance formula was derived entirely by simplifying the norm of that projection.